what to do. Hey guys, welcome back to Pillbox Movies. I'm Hank, and today we're going to be watching the 1949 American film The Heiress. This is a film directed by William Wyler. William Wyler is one of the most expansive, prolific, and diverse filmmakers that I can recall. Uh, his movies include Ben-Hur, Best Years of Our Lives, Roman Holiday, and The Collector, which was featured on this channel. Uh, an insane, insane eye for talent, I have to say. The heiress stars two of the hottest people I can think of in the world. Montgomery Clift and Olivia de Havilland, and it also stars, I didn't know this, but it also stars Ralph Richardson. Um, Ralph Richardson is a great actor, great character actor. I know him particularly from The Four Feathers, where uh, it, The Four Feathers is not my favorite movie in the world, but his performance was incredibly moving. Um, the Heiress is based off of a play by Augustus and Ruth Getz, and is itself based on a work by 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 Henry James, based based on a novel by Henry James. Uh, <laughs> the the play was also revived in Broadway, uh, starring Jessica Chastain, and I think I think I think I think Al Pacino is in it too. That shows how old I am. <laughs> Anyways, let's watch The Heiress. And before we get started, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. Sign up for my Patreon. Why not? As with like every movie I watch, apparently, this is available uh, to purchase from the Criterion Collection. I wonder if there's any other editions out there. Is this Paramount? I don't think this is Paramount. It is Paramount. Maybe there's a uh, Paramount Selects 4K of it. Olivia, get in the first billing. Yes. Style on the MFers. DP, Leo Tover. Did he work on anything else with Wyler? Another New York film. See, Comic City Council of the City of New York. Back in Henry James Day. Back in Edith Wharton Day. Look at those open streets. Nary a car in sight. Oh, beautiful. Back when New York was a walking city. Oh, just stunning. <laughs> Radiant. Radiant. The most recent thing I, I've seen with Olivia de Havilland uh, was My Cousin Rachel, the uh, Daphne du Maurier work, and just, I just fell in love. I don't know how else to put it. You see, your father, father would like me to be composed and to join in the conversation. Okay, we're establishing kind of character traits of I have sat here in my room and made notes of, of Catherine as kind of like uh, like a regular girl. She doesn't know how to like show the affectations of her station, like her father wishes for her to do, like not taking like taking in the fish on her own and not knowing how to talk at parties or in society. It's always the kind of like the, the the contradiction of these kind of narratives where you know you, you're casting the plain girl, the regular plain Jane, for these roles, and then you cast Olivia de Havilland or Jessica Chastain, and you're like, yeah, I guess they're like Hollywood ugly, I guess. Hopefully they cast them for their acting acumen and not for their looks. I thought you would like the color. Yeah. I had no idea Ralph Richardson was so tall. My mother used to wear it in her hair of exhaustion. But Captain, your mother was fair. She dominated the color. Oh Jesus Christ! Why you say that to your daughter? Dude, what's your problem? I am about to lose the loveliest. There's your the most beautiful cover. daughter to a most wonderful young man, to Arthur Townsend. I am at once a sad and a very. I'm shocked how much is and going on into Havilland's like performance in just that short clip. You can like sense her devotion to her own father, her own conflict, and not being like the beautiful one, or not being the um, socialite in the way that her her peer is. Come along, Arthur. Let's dance. Oh, uh, Quintus. Oh, just <laughs> wiping away the tears in her eyes. Catherine will find a husband. You think so? 
Well, she has the prospect of 30,000 a year. Well, I've tried to make conversation with her and give her some social adeptness. The result is what you see. An entirely mediocre and defenseless creature with not a shred of boy. Excuse? <laughs> Only I know what I lost when she died. What I got in her place. No fatherly affection whatsoever. I love how she always has something like in her hands. Mismanaged. She just keeps on pawing at things. Catherine, dear, may I present Mr. Morris Townsend? Would you have a dance for me, Miss Sloper? I believe she has Monty, your, your affectation is interesting to say the there least. I'm a man who loves Montgomery Cliff's facial reactions. Which one would it be? So, this is going to be like a duel of facial reactions. He and Olivia de Havilland, because they're both friggin' A material. Um, <laughs> the fifth? These fifth, two fifth. beauties! I can't! Two hours in mark. You know, we don't have to wait until the fifth. It's a handsome couple. No. It's a handsome couple. It's a handsome couple! Oh, look how erect. <laughs> Monty clipped it. <laughs> uh, Stiff is bored. Miss Sloper, we must make an arrangement. I will not kick you if you will not kick me. Oh dear, I'm so clumsy. No, no, it's only that I'm wearing Awkward queen. <laughs> She's just Elaine dancing in front of him. <laughs> this is a, this is a rom com I needed. I know it's not a rom com, but I love how small their reactions are. It's such small, small acting. It's so it shines so brilliantly. This might not be everybody's taste, but after years of kind of the uh, bombastic, really kind of Im imposing acting, I love watching small performances let you kind of like fall into their their performance, fall into their mannerisms, their psychology, their interiority. Actors who invite you rather than make a demand of you. I've just met your father. His office hours are in the morning. Are you not well, Mr. Townsend? No, call on you. the best of health. I wish to call on you. I'm not sure what to do with that information. Ooh, I like them being in the silhouette. That's a nice touch. You must ask her that. When? Well, this is the effects of very nice tailoring, making making Monty Cliff look a little bit more square in the shoulders than he actually is. You have a visitor, young lady. Good morning. I love that painting. It's a beautiful morning for me now, Miss Sloper. Oh, charmer. I would have to come back sometime. I live here. I know you do, Miss Sloper. That is why I'm here. Oh, I I brought that song I told you I found in Paris. <laughs> I like her a little I, I like lean away from him. I will leave you alone with him. What will I talk about? You will not have to do the talking. I am not going to a party. My father and I are dining with Mr. and Mrs. Holmes. Just retreating all. back, shrinking That's away. What I like you for. You're so honest. Did you go out this morning because you thought I might call? Yes. <laughs> do you not? like to see me girl use a little bit more guile you consider my behavior <laughs> may i okay I, you I, shan't harm it. I i am sympathetic to catherine i am she seems like a lovely girl she doesn't play an instrument what did she do all day oh monty can you hear me way over there What movie did I watch? Oh, this was featured in, um, the fuck is it called? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Le Polinaire, the, uh, House of, House of Pleasures, House of Innocence. Hopefully I have that video out by now. Please, please, I beg of you, Hank. It's a lovely song. Oh, the way that Montgomery Cliff walks up on you. I've taken the liberty of calling on the most attractive young lady and her attractive father. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you, Monty. Thank you. I know nothing of you but what I see, but I see that you're extremely intelligent. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> Richardson being a consummate actor, he actually registered surprise when when uh, Catherine interjected. He's not used to his daughter actually speaking up in conversation. Family feeling is very proper, but it's hardly a career. No, it won't make my fortune. Ah, you mustn't be too much bent on a fortune. Dad is sussing him out. What was the comment about the Bay Rum? What What was he sensing about? About Cliff's like character, me. yeah, he, he doesn't. He doesn't like me at all. Well, he's on, on alert with you. I don't see how you know. Oh. I would have liked you to say to me, if my father doesn't think well of you. What does it matter? Oh, but it would matter. It does matter. You never say that. Oh my God. <laughs> Do anything for one of you, love. Uh, excuse me. My girl. I'm not so sure about that. You must believe how much I care for you. I think we're going too fast. You're everything I've ever yearned for in a woman. What I qualities am... are that, praise tell? I am so... Will you marry me? Yes. Oh, This girl could have really used a chaperone. Really could have used a you chaperone. Yes. Ladies, this is why you should take some time to take some advice or counsel from your mothers, from your, from your parents. Because sometimes the boy that you fall for outright may not have your best interests at heart. Oh, I love you. I will always love you. My dear girl. <laughs> uh... I am engaged to be married. Okay, let's take a step back. He's like, how's my girl fucked up this bad? You've gone fast. His eyes are racing. I think we have. Oh, father, don't you think he is the most beautiful man you've ever seen? Well, he's very good looking, my dear. Of course, you wouldn't let a consideration oh. like that <laughs> And you are so good that you will be fair and honest with him. I shall be as fair and honest with him as he is with you. Thank you, Father. Oh, ho, ho. Captain, this is Mrs. Montgomery, Mr. Townsend's sister. How do you do? Did they choose not to put uh, Olivia de Havilland not in makeup for this scene? It is delightful to have someone to whom one can show New York. Oh, yes, it is. She girl. Like our city? Yes. Girl. You gotta help out a bit. To offer Mrs. Montgomery a glass of the Madeira. Oh, yes, indeed. She... She is very shy. Yes, she is. Yes. Well... Now you said they've just fallen in love. You were right about Catherine. Were Such you a right mean dad. Very protective, but very mean. <laughs> Very realistic, but very mean. I believe her money is the prime attraction. Tell me she is not a victim of his selfishness. Tell me I am wrong. I must go now. What? Catherine, Mrs. Montgomery has left. Oh, I took too long. <laughs> I wanted to make. I just get the slightest hint that problem. Olivia de Havilland has a pretty keen door. sense of comedic timing. Father, tell him about me. You know me so well. It will not be. Immodest in you. I, I hate to tell you this girl, he has not been doing that the rest of this movie. How is it possible to protect such a willing victim? We will kill her I, oh. Did you really expect that I would throw my daughter into your arms? No. I had an idea you didn't like me. How'd you what get that impression? Idea? The fact that I'm poor. Poor people can sniff out rich people's contempt. You enjoy the idea of making her miserable. I'm resigned to her thinking me a tyrant for a few months. A few months? For a lifetime, then. Oh, girl. Just no chill. No sense at all of the situation. If it were not for my feeling for Catherine, I should not have put up with the indignities you've offered me today. Morris, you promised me, Morris. You promised you would be, you would be respectful when you saw my father. Catherine, you are without dignity. Why are you angry? Dad! Why are you and Morris quarreling? You want me to give him up? Yes, I do. You see how painful this is for me, Father. Surely you will want me to I love how reasons. tailored um, to Haviland and Cliff's wardrobe are. 
I know he loves me. I know that he does not. In heaven's name, Father, what makes you so sure? My poor child. I and really good of uh, Richardson with his immense oh, immense experience in acting that when he when he repositioned he when he uh stopped he noticed that his shadow was obstructing uh the face of de Havilland, so he repositioned himself to be outside of the uh outside of the light in heaven's name father what makes you so sure my poor child i can't tell you you must just take my word for it you're very sure of your love but catherine do you dare to test him Catherine, go to europe go to europe with your father there's these really fine, very granular, very technical details of act, of acting that are they're very stagey, they're very pre presentational, but the the actors are noticing them. Like there's a small moment right before then where Clit goes to take uh, De Havilland's hand, and he kind of notices that it's a bad angle that he would be upstaging her if he took her hand, like um, overhand right and so he switches his grip to underneath and clutches at her elbow it's very very it's not like it's good acting specifically but it's a uh, kind of well-preserved acting acting that maintains the the frame the impression and it's good acting in the sense that it, it uh presents no opportunities for going up or messing up the shot in a presentation that has very few cuts and very few shots that is trying to replicate the feeling of a stage play and taking as long t and having as long takes as possible oh, that's a cape Soon the cigar shall be mine. <laughs> All those pants are going right into his dick. <laughs> what an inconvenient hour to land. Now you wait in the mews for my signal, Morris. Get up, get up. Oh, Catherine, you look so French. Well, no matter how fascinating this place is. Does she have a new hairdo? I can't really tell. Well, I suppose you'll be going off with him any time now. Yes. It's a tall drink. If he will have me. The 30,000 he expects. He does not love me for that. No? What else then? Your grace, your charm, your quick tongue and dad, subtle dad, wit. Dad, 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 dad. That's your daughter. Me. Catherine, I've tried for months not to be unkind, but now it's time for you to realize the truth. A hundred women are prettier, a thousand wow. more clever, but you have one virtue that outshines them all. Wow. You're what? dumb, you're foolish, your and money. rich. Father. You have nothing else. Oh. I've known you all your life, and I've yet to see you learn anything. With one exception, my dear. Nitwork. You embroider. Embroidery. I, um, a little costume detail. I really like the, um, length or whatever of the, um, of, of the shoulder drops. I don't really know what to call them, but they're, they're, instead of being, like, on the shoulder, they're just draped a little bit along the arm. I think that's a nice detail. I saw that I noticed that earlier with the uh, dress she had before they left. God, she's beautiful. God, she's beautiful. God, she's beautiful. God, God, God. Ooh. Plays in the moon. See, that is a good technical thing. They did a walking kiss. That's a, awesome. Good for them. <laughs> You've not changed your mind. No, no. Have you? Oh, our elopement. Oh, they're gonna fuck so hard. Oh, I love you so. The only thing she can hear right now is the pulsing of her wrist. Oh, she's down bad! Tell me what to do. I will come to the corner of the square tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. And after the marriage, we'll spend the night at an inn up the river. Oh, that's the part she's interested in. Oh, I love how intense this close-up is. It's like hot as my shit. God. Rain just somehow makes everything hot. I don't understand. Morris? Yes? Take me tonight. <laughs> Morris, I beg you. She's down bad. Did you see his fucking face when he turned around? Jesus Christ, Montgomery Clift. He is so hot. 
be back here at 12.30 on the dot, in front of the house. We must leave a letter for your father. We want him to forgive us. He won't forgive us. I know it. He needs what those 30 thou. You can tell when a person speaks to you as if... As if... As what? As if they despised you. We must be very happy together. And you must never despise He's just got so much contempt for his daughter because he's so attached to his, his wife. be very happy and expect nothing from him. Ever. I kind of need those extra 20. It's got to be a no from me, dog. <laughs> oh, to be young again. <laughs> Freedom, a good dicking, it's all mine. There's no time, Aunt. Morris will be here any instant. Yep, he's totally coming. I love the Leia look. Think of it. I may never stand in this window again. Girl. Why won't you? Girl. Because I will never be in this house again. Girl. Nonsense. Throwing you everything away. I get it. For Monty Cliff, I get it. A girl. I'll never see him again in my life. But good heavens, child. You're disinheriting yourself. Yeah, Have it's a bit too much discord this? to believe this is how it's gonna everything. how this is gonna be, be the fallout husband. of the movie. Oh, you should have waited. Did it did he understand? There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Aunt. Oh, oh. 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 I know oh. I'd go. Oh. Oh, your first boyfriend, too. I guess this is kind of how first love feels. In some ways. Maybe he died. Aunt? Yes, dear? Why shouldn't I have told Morris? Oh, dear girl. Why were you not a little more clever? Clever? Oof. About what? Oh. Oh, oh. Why shouldn't I have told him? Uh. I have 10,000 a year. That is a great deal of money. Not when one has expected 30. You think what She's my She's just trying to get you thinks. that good dick. He thinks I am pretty. He wants me. He could not wait for tomorrow night. He said we must go tonight. No. No, he didn't. <laughs> you did. Nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> he must love me. He oh, must. Jesus. Please take Morris will love me. For all those who didn't. Oh. I can feel the incel growing in her. I think you're pretty, Olivia. I think you're very, very pretty. I'm not Montgomery Cliff, but I think you're very pretty. Yeah, your first relationship does do be like that though just I want to go to bed so bad just let me lie down every part of my body hurts right now I can't believe I have to lug these friggin suitcases please let me lie down if you will interrupt your embroidery for a moment Catherine I am ill I can only assume that your departure is imminent I just wanted to say that I love you. Has he asked you to keep your plans secret from me? I know I haven't been very forthright in I saying this. But come I'm come your here, father and I love you. You have broken your engagement. I know the effort that you must have made. Do you, father? <laughs> I cannot begin to tell you how proud of you I am. Thank you for that. I love that he he was going into this with this like very soft like loving caring energy and she's just like completely rejected it. It's like you're gonna fucking talk to me right now. I'm on my period. You have cheated me. You thought that any handsome, clever man would be as bored with me as you were. It was not love that made you protect me. It was contempt. Better to know it now than 20 years hence. Why? 
I lived with you for 20 years before I found out you didn't love me. Oof, I don't know oof, that Morris would have hurt me or starved me for affection more than you did. Since you couldn't love me, you should have let someone else try. If I am to buy a man, I would prefer buying Morris. Don't say <laughs> Ooh, this kind of family discord I can really resonate with. Uh, no, enough of this namby pamby shit. Let's have families at each other's throats. Let's have daughters killing their fathers. I love Olivia de Havilland. I love Ralph Richardson. I love Montgomery Clift. What a great, great movie. Absolute poison. Oh. This is how it be, though. This is like what family is like. You estrange your children enough, and you're surprised when they turn it on you. Perhaps make your best effort not to f so fucking fully estrange your children, then. And he did it with her best intentions at heart. Just, you know, parents wanting their children to be successful. Just, you know, telling you the, what who you should date, and what you should study, and how much time you should devote to this or that. We've asked you every year since your father died. You always say, maybe I will. And then you never do. I like the square. <laughs> She's opened up! Just a fine little costume detail that in the last phases of the film, she is... She's opened up a bit. Oh. 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 That little enclave where she was about to give it all up! Oh, Miss Catherine. You've changed into one of your Paris gowns. Well, then... He's back. I have seen Morris Townsend. He fears that you never understood him, that you never judged him. Oh, boy. And if you would try to understand his side of it, Catherine, he meant it no. I also like the little details of uh, Lavin Aunt Lavinia's. Uh, the guile you again, and you talk like <laughs> her. Uh, what you think hot topic gloves. Save your breath, Aunt Penham, and I will not see him. Well, he's here. Go to the door, Aunt, and tell Mr. Townsend. She's like, she's like the doctor in Passion. She's just plotting to destroy these people's lives. Well, I'm sorry. Do not go to this I man. Just, I, I know you're gonna, in, but don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a real struggle for me to get back here. God damn it. Boy, <laughs> it's always this kind of guy. And I worked as a hand, a common seaman. Catherine, it was because I loved you that I disappeared that night. Shut up. But I knew that if I returned that night. Disgusting. I might have done you great harm. Try not to think of what it looked like, but of what it was. I had to make a choice. You need to die right now. You know Monty, I'm usually on your side, but you need to die right now. Oh, Catherine, my dear. Now we're free. They kind of reset their relationship where she's uh, because you thought I might call. backing up you love me? from her, away from him. Yes. I didn't dare to say. Oh, Catherine. Come with me now. We can find a carriage in the square. Do you think the Reverend Lispinard is still waiting? Oh, <laughs> we could tell she's we kept that him. name in her head for years. Oh, Morris. I have thought so many times of that inn up the river. Shall we have the same honeymoon? I love how they reversed the uh, the the framing when they first had this when they first had this this plan, and it's turning it about, turning it on its face. It's so cold and strange now. We can be at Murray's Hill in an hour. We can be there by ten. In an hour from Washington Square. Do not take a cigar, you motherfucker. Oh my fucking god! I hate him so much. Oh, I hope I always stay romantic. Lavinia, and shut you know up. He came back with the same lies. Same silly phrase. Didn't even try and change his game in any way. He's grown greedier with the years. Well, he came to the wrong house. And he came twice. I, I didn't even get to come once. Can you be so cruel? Yes, I can be very cruel. I have been taught. By masters. 
she's inherited this from them. Not just money, she's inherited this cruelty. <laughs> the uh, lettering was not as straight from the reverse shot, from the other shot. Bolt it, Mariah. Bolt it? Bolt the door, Mariah. Yes, miss. Girl boss! Catherine! Catherine! Oh you don't understand! I mean, Steven! She makes her way up the stairs again. Good for her. Good for her. She deserves it. Good for her. Ugh. Well, at least you didn't have sex with Maria. I'm glad I was spared that indignity. Oh, absolutely venomous. You love to see it. Just, just ladies parsing out some vitrupative justice. I really like that. I think um, I had a bit, bit of resistance to the kind of staid production of it uh, because it is a drawing room play and they're kind of restricted into the Crawther, the Sloper household for a lot of the uh, uh, film. But yeah, like I said previously, I don't think that Weiler, you know, uh, really intended to break it open so much or re re envision it. I think he was trying to represent the um, strengths and qualities of the play as best as he could within the filmic medium. And the highlights of the play, I think, are the is the acting and the actors, the transformation of this character of Catherine from diminutive and shy into some someone who's imperious and in, in full possession of her own of her own will and her own strength. And so, while a bit like mechanically, I got a bit tired of that one set being utilized over and over again really it's it's a set it's background we're here to concentrate on the acting and and the costumes <laughs> i thought that de Havilland shone brilliantly in this and like yeah just like a wonderful wonderful ensemble everybody getting their kind of moment to really um act or share or steal the spotlight for a second uh richardson with the uh interrogation of morris uh, Clift, obviously, with that romancing scene in the rain. Uh, Miriam Hopkins, definitely, with her her tearful overnight stay, overnight sit with with Catherine, and of course, De Havilland was just wonderfully transformational in this role. Just a wonderful presence. Ooh, Aaron Copeland did the music to this. That's cool. Wow. I don't think it's the deepest movie ever made, obviously, but incredibly satisfying. Very good kind of girl getting hers back kind of movie. If you just suffered a bad breakup, this is a great breakup movie. <laughs> yeah, that was The Heiress. Let me know if you've seen it. What you like about it? How hot are these people in this movie? Oh my god. Uh, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. And until next time, keep watching good movies.